What's up, family? It's Chris, and you're watching Bad Outside TV, guys, and I'm have my dad with me today. The coach of all coaches. And you guys, you already know the deal, guys. I'm back at it again with another request. This one came from Not Stupid. It's good to let people know. Yeah, in case that, you know, if you have to, if you have to repeatedly say that, then say something about you. Yikes. But they said, watch immigration, real poverty, and gumballs. Well, I hope they ain't that, con that, that cartoon. Mm -mm. It's not a cartoon. I saw the picture in the thumbnail. It looks like a real person. But anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the video. Before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you guys like to see next. Hit that notification bell to get notification when we upload. And subscribe to join the family. But hold on. Wait. Go ahead and say ahead. what you say. Um, oh. But always, remember, financially, the coach can't take care of everybody. But He will give you good advice. Um, y'all getting out of hand because just because we watched that video last, that last video we watched, it was like a music video. Uh, somebody decided to comment some music. Mm -mm. We didn't know that was a music video and Coach liked it, so that's why I kept the video going. We don't react to music videos. Yeah, because we keep getting copyrighted. And therefore, they, 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 eject, they reject it. So you can't, can't show it and it's a waste of our time. So now we're going to get into the video. Some people say that mass immigration. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had. The answer to the United States can help reduce world poverty. Is that true? Well, no, it's not. And let me show you why. This gumball represents the one million legal immigrants that the United States has taken every year on average since 1990. Now, who in the world deserves our humanitarian compassion? The World Bank has one measure of the desperately poor of the world. They make less than $2 a day. And how many people make less than $2 a day in the world? Well, let's start with Africa. In Africa alone, there are 650 million people who make less than $2 a day. 650 million. And in India, another 890 million people, desperately poor. China, adds another 480 million people making less than two dollars a day and unfortunately the rest of asia has a heartbreaking 810 million people who the world bank say make less than two dollars a day and finally there's 105 million of latin america's population that are desperately poor all told the world bank says there are three billion people in the world three billion people who are desperately poor, making less than $2 a day. That's 3,000 gumballs. And every year, we take a million and suggest that we've somehow made a humanitarian difference. Of course, we don't pull our immigrants from... Now, that, with that ideal, ideology... Ideology. Ideology. Then you shouldn't help anybody. If you if gonna, helping that amount doesn't really help, you should just stop it all together. Right. I mean, according to his... The uh, way he's saying it. Yeah. I mean, I would say, you know what? Like those people that he helped wasn't great. You know, exactly. This guy sounds like a clown. Or am, I, <laughs> or am I overstating something? I see what he mean, but did it get if you the person getting help? Did right. it help you? Right. Can we help three billion? No. You can't. Because all of a sudden, they'll... Suck you in too. Now you making two dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you making three fifty. Oh, you know what I mean? That ain't help for me still. Oh, I mean, if he was one of them ones, one of the million that get help, you would be talking different. <laughs> True. Why do you think people are dying to get over here? Because that little bit helps. This guy sound like a clown. Let me let me listen some more. Maybe I'm overreacting. These desperately poor populations, do we? These people are too poor, too sick, too disconnected to make it here as immigrants. We tend to pull our immigrants out of the better off poor of the world. And Mexico tends to define the type of immigrant that we bring here because the plurality of people come from Mexico. And Mexico is poor. How many people in the world live in countries that have average incomes lower than that of Mexico? And the World Bank tells us that that number is these three billion 
plus another 2.6 billion people. 5.6 billion people in the world who live in countries with average incomes below that of Mexico. That's 5,600 gumballs. And so what is it that the elites are telling us? They're telling us that when we take this one million immigrants, that we somehow or another are tackling world poverty. And we have to do... No, he's not talking about himself. He said that's no, what no, they're no. saying. No, but that's who I'm talking about. Oh, that's, you say he sounds like a clown. He sounds like a clown that's saying like... What do you say it again? No, he's saying that's what they're saying. Who he's is not they? saying it. He said, I think he said the elite. Uh, yeah, but he he's saying that we think we helping solve the poverty by helping a million people. You are for that million. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me that you're not helping. Uh, or if it was a, a eight billion and one, and you helped that one, you did help. Oh, so what he's saying now is. The elite feel like if they helped that one million, then they did something. They did. Okay. You know what I mean? Because now it's a million less. Mm -hmm. And then the next person, and the next person do something. But I don't knock nobody that that's trying to help. You know, if you give a beggar on the street money, I don't knock you for that. Hmm. But these I, beggars these days are fraud, so you can't even trust them. One beggar. You don't call one beggar, and now they all they all. Fraud. I'm saying no. I'm saying you know how something ruins something for like my teacher said. Oh, if somebody leaves something in the classroom, then y'all can't eat snacks for a week in class. And it's one person that one. ruined it for everybody. It's always that so. one. Yeah, but you can't. You know, my philosophy is if you can help, help. If you can't, you say, brother, I'm sorry, I can't help you, and that's it. And then what they say to you? They yeah, but that's if you, if you get them they something though, because it was a no, lady I outside of Publix and she was asking for change, and then mom uh, went inside and bought her a sub. Yeah, but the lady ain't asked for a sub. She, she asked, asked for, for change. Exactly. That so sub. You don't need to get them no change. No, she was like, oh yeah, and then she ran in the store with us. Yeah, but if I'm asking you for a motorcycle and you and you giving me like a a a, a, a skateboard. That's not. But then, no, you don't you, know what they doing with you, the money, so it's just like. But it let me just get you something. It ain't none of your business. When I give you it's the it's money, it's mine. No, I need that. I'd rather buy them something. How are you gonna give me something? Then to get them money. Yeah, but how are you gonna give me something with 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 restrictions on it? I'm gonna get you something. Oh you God. ain't asked for a skateboard. You Let's need. Let's get back into immigration, world poverty, and gun. You need a car, but I'm gonna give you a skateboard. You can hold on the back of a bus. And <laughs> <laughs> you probably could go faster than a little weird. <laughs> You're bad. But regardless of the effect on our unemployed, the working poor, the most vulnerable members of our society, regardless of the effect on our natural resources, even if we went by the most radical proposals in Washington, which are to actually double our immigration to two million a year, which would totally overwhelm our physical, natural, and social infrastructures, we couldn't make it. That's all I was saying. America can't take care of everybody. They can't. True. So if you could help a million, a hundred thousand, those hundred thousand would be grateful. Well, why should you deplete, deplete your whole resources trying to make people think yeah, then you, you mess yourself up. Now you, now you making three dollars. Mm -hmm. You went from thirty to three dollars. And you think those people are grateful? They're going to be looking down on you now. Like, I made five, girl. Five. I, I made five. <laughs> I came up, girl. I was making two, <laughs> two something. I done came up. What's his problem? Noticeable difference. And we may be really hurting the impoverished people of the world because the million that we do take are among the most energetic, often the better educated, certainly the most dissatisfied people that if they did not immigrate would be the agents for change to improve the lot of all the people in these countries. The true heroes in the global humanitarian field are the people in these countries who have the wherewithal to immigrate to another country but instead stay in their countries to apply their skills to help their fellow countrymen. Unfortunately, our immigration system tends to entice these very type of people to abandon their countrymen. 
The impossibility of making even a dent is actually worse than it looks here. Because last year, when we took one million immigrants, these countries added births over deaths, 80 million more people into the impoverished population. And this year, Congress is bringing in a million legal immigrants. And this year, according to the United Nations, these countries are expected to add another 80 million people. And next year, you can be quite sure that Congress, unless stopped by the American voters, will bring in another million immigrants. And these countries, unfortunately, will be adding another 80 million people into these impoverished nations. We could take 5 million a year, but we'd never get ahead of what's happening in these countries. Not in this century. Don't you see? Immigration can never be an effective or significant way to deal with the suffering people of the world. They have to be helped where they live. 99.9% .9 of them will never be able to immigrate to a rich country. There's no hope for that. They have to bloom where they're planted. The only place that 99.9% .9 of these people can be helped is where they live. Let's help them there. to watch uh yeah. thanks to who requested it yeah he's absolutely he's not right. stupid <laughs> no he's not no he's not <laughs> stupid i'm just saying no the person the, who requested oh okay it. that was a name oh, that's not a stupid name, yeah. but uh yeah this guy i mean this guy is right this is what i was saying you you can't help everybody mm -hmm. and it ain't enough room over here so now he's right you got to help them where they're at they got to help themselves Oh, well, you, what'd you say? Your country got a, a drought? Well, you got to dig that land up to where it's fertile underneath and, and, and go from there. You ain't got no water? No, they, man, come on. All the technology. I might as well, if they brought everybody over here, it just would not work. No. So. You think you, you don't like your neighbors now. Just imagine if they have the space in between your house. Girl, Bob. And then build a house on top of it. Mm -mm. Four houses. Mm -mm. Everybody got to go through your door to get out. Ew. Yeah, because if, if they're all stacked, there's no way out. Nasty. Everybody going through your front door. Man, this is the end of the video, guys. If you would like to see the original video by yourself, which you should, the link is down in the description below, and so is my social media. Add me, follow me. You guys should already know the deal. But since this is the end of the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below if you guys like to see next. Hit that notification bell, get notification we upload, and subscribe to join the family. Right, but that guy just showed me what I already knew, that... Um, you you can't just run away from your country because you impoverished. You got to work it out. Got to have your government work it out. Somebody's got to work it out. You know you 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 can run away from your problems, but when you look in the mirror, you're gonna see your problems staring right back at you. It's you. You're the problem. But the coach can't help everybody financially. Because you saw what he just said. He, that's a, it's proof that the coach that's can't proof. take care of. It's proof that the coach can't take care of everybody. But He will give you good advice. See you guys in the next and video. That's the way I help. I give good advice. That's right. <laughs>